Rococo Video Capture is here and it's looking pretty awesome. It takes video from your webcam or phone and turns it into motion capture animation. And even better, it's free to use. And even better still, using a Rococo add-on, you can export these animations and add them into your own rig in Blender really easily. So here's the video I used. It's a very basic video captured on my phone. No special lighting or anything like that. It's a little bit grainy to be honest. And you can see it picked up my movements well, even when I was moving fairly quickly because I'm such a ninja. Of course, it can't capture movement that's occluded from the camera, so if your arm goes behind your body, it will struggle to work that out. Also, you can't wear black. The video capture doesn't like it. I think it had a little bit of trouble with my socks, in fact. But apart from that, it's absolutely brilliant. So how do I get this wonderful tool, I hear you asking? Well, to start with, let's go to the Rococo site. You can find the link in the description. Create a new login and then log in. Start a new scene, give it a name, and then either upload a video or record one from your webcam. I've got a file of me doing some silly stuff, punching and things like that. So I select that one. It takes a second to load it in. And then there's me looking at the camera a bit weirdly whilst I press record. And yes, my hair is a little long at the moment and I've got quite a beard because I'm a bit lazy. In here, I can trim the video and get the right spot that I want. I just kept a chunk of it so I could test things out and then turn into animation. I've sped this up 10 times so you get an idea of how long it takes. Not too long really, just check that it's all alright and open Rococo Studio. That will either open it or take you to this download page where you can download it. So you can then open that up, install it and of course diligently read the whole license agreement and we're ready to go. Of course sign in using the web browser, that will take you to the web browser and if you're like me you'll get confused thinking well why isn't it open Rococo Studio and then you realise you're in the web browser still and you bring up Rococo Studio instead. Inside Rococo Studio you'll see your scene, so click on that to get started. Inside Rococo Studio, you do have to realize that this is made for people with suits as well as Rococo Video. So there's lots you don't need. Just click on your actual recording and that will bring up the timeline. You don't really need to do a huge amount, but what's really great is that you have these foot locks. So the green is one foot and the blue is the other. And you can just extend them out if the foot lifts off the floor when it shouldn't. Once you're happy with that, you can go up to the top right, click on export and export it. That exports it as an FBX and puts it into this folder. So into Blender, and this is where I found things a little bit tricky because you can see my Saitama character here. If you want to see a rundown of me making him, then link in the description. But you can see I've positioned him in an A pose rather than a T pose. Basically, don't do that. Make sure you use T poses so they match up with the rig that we're importing. Now what we need is the Rococo add-on specifically for Blender so we can take the animations that we've made and put them onto this rig. So if you go onto Rococo's site, you can go under the integration section and obviously you can choose any of these, but Blender is the one I'm using. And then you've got the plugin as they call it or add-on as we call it in Blender and you can download it just there. So back into Blender and you can see that I've put my site of my character into a T-pose instead. And to get all this animation to work on our character, you go up to edit, preferences, add-ons, just there. And we have to install it. So we go to install. I've got an add-ons folder that I put all my add-ons in and there's Rococo Studio Live, the add-on we downloaded. I can click on that, install add-on. Now you might not see it straight away. If you go onto the search and type in Roco, then you can see the add-on there. Make sure that's ticked and then close this down. Now over on my sidebar, if you press N on your keyboard, you've got the Rococo add-on here. So I can now import my new animation from Rococo that I downloaded as an FBX. So file, import, FBX, and there's new recording one. So this is the video I recorded as an animation. You do have to come down here to armature and turn on auto bone orientation and import FBX. That should jump into the middle like this. I can then come across to the retargeting setting here. If I click on that drop down, the source, I can use my picker and choose the object root here which if we look at my outliner is the Rococo video character and there's root underneath it. That's why it's called root. And the target is my meta rig. So I used Rigify to automatically make a human rig and then parented it to my character. Hence why it's called meta rig. Whilst testing, I did try it with a Mixamo rig. So I took my character into Mixamo, rigged it, brought it back in and that matches up well as well. And again, you can use the picker if you want and pick the meta rig there. So we're going from the root and we want to put it onto my meta rig here. I can then build bone list. And if I scroll down and open this out slightly, these are all the bones from the root one. And this is the bones they're linking to from my meta rig or the rig I've created for my character. So you can scroll through here and see if there's any problems. In a second, I'm going to press the retarget animation and that will take the animation from this and put it onto my rig. 
if this retargeting hasn't worked, it will tell you that you've got two arms called shoulder or something like that, which is a problem I had. And I just had to go in and make sure the right bone in my rig was linked to the bone in the root rig. And you can check it by going into pose mode, selecting that, you can see the name there. And that corresponds with this one here. If I go into pose mode and select that one, make sure that name is matched up with that one. So back into object mode, I can now press retarget animation. Now I do keep getting this error message. I'm not fully sure what that is, but it seems to work. I'll just bring out a new window with the timeline on it, and I can scrub across my timeline and they've matched up nicely. So obviously this doesn't replace the need for a suit just yet, but it's definitely the best video motion capture that I've seen. And it gives you a really good starting point, which you can use with a bit of cleanup. I'm really looking forward to using this more and looking forward to more developments. So thanks very much to the Rococo team. And of course, thanks to you for watching. I would definitely recommend giving this a try with your characters. Any thoughts or questions, comment below and I'll see you next time.